it was a very strong experience the first time I came with Innocence and you know it was like the almost my first film at the festival was so both welcoming and and also there are so many people in the in the in the theater an audience that was very open mind and that's what I remember I was striking by that the first time I came and always when I came back <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I, I found many, many things very striking and, and interesting and challenging in, in the book. Somehow it reminds me of literature from uh, mid-century, like uh, from Central Europa, like from Kafka or, or Walzer or this kind of uh, writers, but in another context, from another time, and also it had also on another side, this uh, gothic aspect, also of like British gothic stories, but it was very original and very, yeah, very special to, to Brian Cutting. Then it was a bit like a reverse angle of what I have done before. Like, okay, there is, it's a tale. There is a girl. It's a sort of coming of age for her, but in fact, she's not the main character. That's him. This man is is a care of that girl, is take care of her, but at the same time the care is very <laughs> kind of oppressive and very scary. It's not hurting her, but it's ambivalent. I did some uh, uh, study of history of art and I was very interested. I loved what, looking at paintings, photos and, and how elements of uh, composition and colors could tell stories, like in the painting of a 16th century, for instance. The idea was to, yeah, exactly, to make this, uh, to make your beauty in this, in this nightmare, to be attracted, to find pleasure in this uh, darkness. And uh, yeah, we wanted to be somehow attractive, and this darkness was exciting to try to yeah to make a film that obscure. 